<laughs> is that a million? Yeah. Oh, this is a million right here? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn, we got a lot of money to spend. <laughs> I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Greenfield, Wisconsin, a suburb right outside of Milwaukee. My first like job was I worked for my dad doing like, snow plowing and stuff like that. I'd probably say like ten dollars an hour. I probably worked for like five hours a night. Quick fifty. I went to the University of Kentucky. In college, you know, we'd go to the mall a lot. I would say we weren't able to obviously buy as much. But going to the mall, buying clothes, you know, going to the movies, things like that. Um, just, we were in a, a small college town. Conversations definitely come up. In high school and college, like talking to my friends, if I ever make it to the NBA, I would probably like get a car. That's a dream to be able to, you know, make a lot of money doing something you love. Getting drafted by Miami, how did that feel going from Milwaukee to Miami? Uh, it was obviously a big adjustment. Obviously the weather being one thing and then the lifestyle. Being able to play basketball in a beautiful city, it's, it's really nothing better. And no state income tax in Florida, so that was another perk to coming to Miami. I figured it was going to be a lot of money, and then once I seen, like, 3.6 million was a lot. It was amazing to be able to see that, you know, that's a lot of money for a young kid, but I felt like I worked for all of it. Coming from, like, no money to uh, having a lot of money, I knew I was going to have to get, like, a financial advisor and everything like that. He kind of came to me with a long-term plan with the money I have now, so saying that I never make another NBA contract, the four years or five years that my contract is now will set me up for the rest of my life. I have a physically demanding job, you know, so I have to really set aside a certain amount of money for my post career and what I'm going to do after basketball. All right, so let's talk about my first million. The very first thing I bought, I think, was a Gucci purse for my mom. I was in New York um, by myself with some friends, and I had just seen it at the Gucci store and bought it for $5,000. Gucci purse for mom. I bought two cars. I bought a Jeep and then a Mercedes. I got a S-Class S63 AMG 2020 Mercedes. I bought it in Kentucky, a dealership in Kentucky, and then they sent it down here. It was 200,000. That was 19. <laughs> 20. And I like it just uh, white and black, simple. Tinted windows uh, for the sun, and then all black rims. I had to pay for the tinted windows. How much were it? Uh, like $300. $300? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Tinted windows, $300 for the Mercedes Benz. Boom. <laughs> I bought the Jeep from a dealership down here in uh, Miami, a Jeep Wrangler, customized. We take off the top sometimes, you know, sometimes it's too hot down here, so we had to take it off. 60,000. 60,000, four-door Jeep Wrangler. Jeep was already tinted uh, windows when we, when we bought it. All right, cool, so no extra 300 bucks. No extra 300 for the Jeep. Saved me a couple dollars. Weekends in Miami, I love going to South Beach. And just looking to, for clothes, shopping. There's a place called Webster's, that's really nice. And then the design district has a lot of Dior and different type of stores like that. Clothing, 85,000. What was your favorite brand before you got that? Uh, I shopped at PacSun a lot. Like I like just basic stuff, but it's cheap and you can really like wear it. What's your favorite brand after you got that? Uh, Dior. Christian Dior. <laughs> Left PacSun behind. Yeah, I mean, I still shop at PacSun sometimes, for sure. Who has the best style on the team, including yourself? If you can do the top three. Uh, top three, uh, me, Kendrick Nunn, and I'm going to just say KZ, Acapella. All three rookies have the best clothing. If Jimmy were to like, watch this video, he'd be <laughs> nah, Jimmy would definitely put himself in there.
my first apartment. A realtor down here in Miami helped me find it. 5,000 a month for rent and utilities. 60,000 in rent. <laughs> I'm renting an apartment right now that I live in, but in the near future, I do want to do something in real estate. That is something that really intrigues me away from the court. The team has a nutritionist, but I actually hired my own chef. My nutritionist works for the team, so the nutritionist and chef, they all kind of work together. We'll say about 20,000 a year on my private chef. 20,000 for my chef. My favorite meal, um, I like, like chicken alfredo with uh, chicken and shrimp. Your least favorite meal? Least favorite? I don't have a least favorite meal. Like, if I don't like it, I'm not gonna eat it. <laughs> I always wanted to buy my mom a car. That was like one of the first things I wanted to do. So once I did get paid, I uh, bought her a Porsche. About 80,000. 80,000 Porsche. That was a complete surprise. I brought it home one day back in Milwaukee. Someone delivered it to my house and then uh, she came outside and kind of just seen it was in our driveway. She was just very excited. She didn't believe it. She got in the car and kind of took it for a ride. I eat out a lot. My favorite restaurant in Miami is uh, Prime 112. Probably go there a couple times a month, I'd say. The night after I got drafted, I did a big celebration dinner and I took uh, all my friends and family. Agency, uh, really just everybody took them out to dinner. So draft day celebration and Prime 112. For dinners over the year, I will probably end up spending about $10,000. My dad, I got him a car too. He likes trucks, so I got him a GMC truck. So I bought my dad a GMC truck for 40,000. So 40,000 GMC truck. I'm into art too. I bought a $4,000 painting. It's like a portrait of me from middle school high school, college, MBA. I was an artist in Denver that I met. We kind of collabed together. Um, I told her I wanted something where I kind of grew over the years and she had an idea and she kind of came up with that painting. If you could look into the future and add a panel, what would you want that panel to be? Me holding the NBA championship trophy with the Miami Heat on the uh, Miami Heat. Custom paintings for around my house, 10,000. Best gift that you've ever received? I would say this is the best gift I've received so far. A paddock, two tone. My teammate uh, gifted to me for my birthday. I have bought my own necklace. Uh, I had my brand logo and then a Cuban, sort of like this. I got my chain from Iceman Nick. I got linked up through a teammate. Uh, we met in Houston when we played the Rockets and we kind of customized a chain for me. Cool. How much was the chain? Uh, 30,000. Besides jewelry, I have accessories, you know, a lot of glasses. These glasses, really the first glasses I bought when I got paid. They're Louis Vuitton glasses. They cost about $1,000. Probably about 10 pairs of glasses. Miami is a very sunny place. I needed these glasses and the rest of the glasses I have purchased so far, so 10,000 on glasses. What was your favorite brand of glasses before you got back? I, honestly, I bought my glasses like in like the mall, like in the low kiosk things, like the, yeah, sunglass hut. <laughs> We're only five months into my rookie season. I have not spent a million dollars yet, but this is what I've spent so far. I feel good. I feel like I can do a little bit more spending. It feels good to be able to, you know, take care of my family. That's a dream that I've always wanted to do is take care of my younger brothers, you know, my two parents. You know, I gave my mom a car, my dad a car. Just want to continue to do that. All right, this is how I spent my first million. Well, some of it at least. You need to be smart with how you spend your money.